hello everyone. Uh, very quickly, I'm uh, back again to do a quick review of this uh, figure which I just assembled or keep bash together. So, um, now uh, I'm gonna review uh, overall, uh, of course, uh, the clothing, the head scalp, uh, the body, everything. Uh, now, maybe let's take a look now, closer look. So, uh, this is a uh, Hot Toys official head scout, so definitely no problem about that. Now, I think overall the figure looks good. Uh, even though I use a very, uh, a very skinny or slim body, uh, but I think because it's two layers here, there's the checkered shirt and a jacket, so it looks Steve Rogers look a bit more bulky and more muscular, and definitely makes him look better. Now, as I mentioned, the clothing overall is very good. Okay, very good material, even the shoes, very good material here. No, but uh, I think after as I was assembling this figure, right, I realized some more pressing issue. I think it's with regards to this figure, uh, this, this body type. So, uh, as you have seen just now, the body type, uh, it was uh, definitely not a seamless one, one that is uh, made out of the different parts. So, uh, I think when you get the body as well, you can see here the joints, very loose. So. Uh, I think if it's, it's no problem if you want them at a museum pose uh, but if you want them in dynamic poses it will definitely not stay so you can see here even the neck is very loose area because not because of the head scalp definitely it's because of the part that's connecting the head scalp over here you can see here the part that's connecting the head scalp to the body so um, so just have to be mindful when you're getting a, a, a body for the figure if it's too loose i don't think it's good this figure feels a bit loose but uh no worries because i'll be putting it in a museum post so i think i'm okay with it so um otherwise i think it looks good do you agree <laughs> yeah so uh, I think it looks fine as, as a museum pose, which I, which was my original initial intention. So uh, just some points to note there for you, for everyone, for those of you who are thinking of making your own uh, custom figures or who decided to do some kit bashing. So. Uh, Maybe if any one of, if, if any one of you out there might not be familiar with the term kit bashing, so I, I look it up uh, on a dictionary online. It's basically, basically about assembling uh, your own toys, whether it's from uh, third party custom products or from uh, official products. So I would say this is a, gen, a genuine example of uh, kit bashing, where I used an official uh, Hot Toys head sculpt. Uh, official uh, pop toys clothing but with a uh, third party or custom body and uh, the wrist as well the party so uh, here's my kit bash for you everyone Steve Rogers pop toys version of course uh, hope you like it just one last quick look So uh, everyone, thanks a lot for watching. See you at the next video. Don't stop collecting. Thank you for watching everyone. Goodbye.